Hi guys, Chris here. We're at the Car Expert Test Track Queensland Raceway today and we are testing the BMW M8 Competition. This thing is an absolute weapon. 460 kilowatts, 750 new meters of torque. It's gonna to be pretty exciting around the track. I can't wait to see what sort of numbers it will do. All right, initial impressions. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this on the out lap. Seating position is really good, uh, super comfortable. I really like how low I can get. Um, visibility doesn't seem like a big problem at all. Um, I really like being down low and, and sitting back, angle back a bit. That's sort of a race car feel for me. I don't want to be too high and feel like I'm on top of the car. Steering wheel feels a little bit big. I'd rather a slightly smaller wheel. It just gives me a little bit more feel, a little bit more control. I just feel like I don't have a great grip on it. But I do love the, the M1 and M2 red buttons on the wheel. They look awesome. And it's great to be able to choose what sort of settings you had and easy select them. So you sort of preset everything and choose traction control on and off, uh, which sports suspension setting or engine setting, and you can pre-map all that. Steering feedback there is a little bit light. Um, it'd be interesting to see at speed how that responds, just like a little bit more weight in the wheel normally. The car's also pretty heavy, 2.3 tonne basically. Uh, so that's gonna take some stopping at the end of a straight, especially when a car does zero to 100 in 3.2. So at the end of the straight here, we're gonna be moving. I had a few attempts to get the best zero to 100 time that I could. In the end, I only managed 3.8 seconds, which is a little bit disappointing, but it was a really hot day and the track was a bit dirty. So I'm sure that affected the result. Start to build up the speed a bit now. Feels pretty stable. The platform feels good. You can feel the weight over there on the outside, but not too bad, but that engine is solid. Steering's actually pretty nice. Even though it's light, I, I get a good feeling of precision so I can sort of choose where I want to be on the track, and that's the most important thing. Let's test these brakes. Pretty solid, but you do notice the weight just not quite pulling up. All right, let's try a hot lap. Good exit here. Use the all-wheel drive off the corner. Even the traction control's coming on then. Let's see how this goes. So uh, finally got a decent lap in at the end. It was actually pretty hard work. Uh, it's a hot afternoon here at Queensland Raceway, so I'm sure that affected the time a bit. Um, we got down to a 57.3. I think on a cold morning, this car would definitely be quicker, but um, hot afternoon, you lose some time for sure. Uh, it was a handful, but pretty impressive engine-wise, performance-wise. I had to be quite aggressive with the car, but a few times I lost the rear as well, and and struggle to maintain stability. Just being such a big heavy car, I'd say is my biggest criticism. And, and that's part of the package. That's the sort of vehicle it is. It's, it's not an entirely track focused race car. It's more of a, a grand touring car. Um, and it ticks those boxes. But I have to say for a big car, mid corner stability was actually really good. So BMW have nailed that part of it. Engine, um, huge power coming off the last turn here. It's almost like you've got a slight four wheel drift, which is pretty cool. Braking is great, super consistent, but just difficult to, to really nail, especially down the main straight into turn one, to have the confidence to know exactly where the car was gonna end up. Uh, I was a little bit nervous each time, just couldn't quite place the car exactly where I wanted. 
And, um, and I guess just with that 2,300 kilograms of, of energy going forward, it was hard to place it exactly where I wanted. And I just sometimes got a little bit push, sometimes had a little bit of oversteer. And that, that just made it a little bit difficult to get a, a perfect lap. I think there's a bit more time in it, but on a colder day, it would definitely be a quicker car. The colder air would help the tyres, help the turbos, build a bit more power as well. And, and funny I say that, even though it's got 460 kilowatts, because the traction is so good with the all-wheel drive system, the X-Drive, it, it could actually handle more power and even a bit more torque. Everything else, no complaints. The gear shifts were super smooth and quick. Um, pedal was nice and firm. Overall, uh, a, a pretty impressive car, but a, a tough thing to get around a circuit, that's for sure. So there you go, the BMW M8 competition. That is a beast of a car and a handful on the track. Um, wasn't easy to get a lap time out of there, but uh, 57.3 in the end is not bad. On a cooler day, you're gonna see a quicker time. To get the most out of this car, you've gotta be pretty careful. There's a lot of weight going around there, so over committing to corners is only gonna cause trouble, so be careful there. You've got the all-wheel drive system, so use that. Use the maximum of that when you're exiting the corner. Use the grip, use the traction, and then use that awesome engine, that V8 twin turbo off the corner, that's where your time is. Get the car turned and fire it out of the corners. It's a big car, so be patient. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you found the video useful, please hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you get notified every time we publish a new video. Really keen to hear your thoughts on this new format, and if you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Take care, and I'll see you again next time.